votes ahead of Edna came your choice for number three. It's an instant classic that signalled a generational change in Australian comedy and reached new heights in political incorrectness. And according to our results, you loved it, Australia. Chris Lilly, genius. I just made a comment about him being fat. He called me a light ass homo. Yeah, as a joke, idiot. The characters and his portrayal of them are just, they're priceless. I have a, uh, I don't touch yours, you don't touch mine policy. One of those great shows that just got it so right. Hold it, morons. Summer Heights High was an irreverent take on what it's like to grow up in the high school system these days. You've got Jamae. J-A apostrophe M-I-E. She's this biatch. She's this private school biatch and she just rates herself so highly. That's why you look around the public school and on average, like no offence, but people are more fugly. She should have her own TV show. <laughs> You've got Jonah. Jonah Kapoff falls on the ground now. What are you doing? You said put my Get balls on the ground. The ground. Get my off the ground. Get my balls on the ground. He's this brute. He's part of the Polynesian gang that sort of roughs up a few few kids in school. Politely and properly apologise to Ben. Sorry, Ben. No, Jonah. My favourite of these characters is Mr G. I'm using Toby the Down Syndrome boy. So normally I'm not allowed to touch them like this, the students at the school because of their child protection laws. But we usually turn a blind eye with these ones. He is so politically incorrect. It's terrible, but hilarious. I can win gold. Chris Lilly first came to our attention uh, in a show called We Could Be Heroes and he played all of the characters in it who uh, were all supposedly nominated for Australian of the Year. My problem is I, I keep waiting for people to say no to my ideas but they keep saying yes. I'm not sure how Chris Lilly does it but he, he gets the intricacies of, of those characters which are so familiar. F*** you sir. Excuse me Jana. I said, fuck you, sir. I think the success of the show as well um, can be seen by the fact that HBO picked it up and started airing it in America. It's so great that that humour can translate into other countries. Because it is very uniquely Australian. Yo. Yo, yo. I don't know anyone that doesn't like Summer Heights High. And people will remember Summer Heights High for a very, very long time. excuse. My culture is better than any of you. That level of skill. Just comedic genius. Who knows what it'll come up with next. Oh, my golly. I doubt it's going to be the last we'll see, Chris Lilly. Many fans.